Hi everyone, welcome to Juliana's Art of Yoga. Today's class will be focusing on strengthening the body so we can create and we can manifest. We're going to work on our legs, we're going to work on our core, on our arms and our shoulders. So get yourself ready and let's get started and we'll take advantage of the weather and the thunders to use that power throughout our class. See you soon on demand. Namaste. Okay, let's begin our yoga for building strength. Let's do a little bit of pranayama, a little bit of breath work first for grounding ourselves. And this is Simba, he is going to practice with us. I'm going to invite you to sit tall, cross your legs, lengthen your spine, and find a comfortable position with your hands, maybe on your knees or maybe overlapping your hands one on top of the other. Grow tall from your tail to the crown of your head and close your eyes with a soft smile and connect to your belly. Soften the belly so the breath can enter into your belly. And let the breath out slowly and gently. And again, breathe into your belly and up into your ribs and maybe into your chest. And let the breath out slowly. And let's do that one more time from your belly to your ribs, chest, and maybe up into your shoulders. Hold it in. And slowly out four, three, two. Flow the breath in and out of the body. And bring your palms together by heart center. Maybe you have an intention for your practice while you're on the mat. Go ahead and uh, bring your intention into this moment. And whatever you intend out of your practice and out of this time, so it is and so be it. Namaste. Bring your prayer up and overhead. Inhale. Open those arms. Exhale. Bring them behind the back. Your palms touch. Interlace the fingers. Stretch your arms back. Open your shoulders. And lower the hands towards the buttocks. And open those arms all the way up into the sky. Your palms touch over the head. Put pressure on your hands and begin to bring the prayer right into the crown of your head. Bring your prayer right into your third eye. Put pressure in there. Bring the prayer right into your throat center. Put pressure in there. And bring it right into the heart. Feel the muscles of your chest, your shoulders, and your arms active. Then bring the prayer down, let the palms separate from each other, ground the energy in the earth, extend the arms up, reach up, open those arms one more time, bring your fingertips into the earth, look at your legs and let's switch those legs around. Placing your hands on your knees, do some Sufi circles to loosen up your hips. And the circles can be small or you can gradually increase the rotation. See how that feels in your hips. See how that feels in your spine. And now let's go in the other direction. Big circles. Paying close attention to the breath. We'll do one more. Let's find our center. Growing tall, get in a hold of your elbows, pull them to the right, bring them over your head, take them to the left, and bring them down to your hips. And let's do that again. Right and up, 
left and down. Reverse it for two. Left and up, right, down. Again, left, up, right, down. Bring them right in front of your chest. Take the right arm under the left one, reach towards your back, giving yourself a nice big hug. Opening the shoulder blades, in between your shoulder blades, pull the body over to the right, giving yourself a twist and look back. Breathe. Pull it over to the left and look back. Bring it back to the center. Take the elbows up, imagine you're taking your shirt off, spread those arms wide and take them all the way down. Okay, let's go into tabletop. Take the legs back, open up all 10 fingers, find the middle of your mat, your knees under your hips, flex your toes, take an inhale. Exhale, tap the tail, the navel, and the chin into your cat stretch. Inhale, release the toes and arch your spine, move forward or up. Exhale, tap back in, look towards your chest, navel to spine. Inhale, arch it back. Bring your knees closer to each other. Exhale, tap back in, squeeze your belly. Inhale into cow, extend the right leg back and look forward. Knee to the nose, exhale, push the ground, pull the navel. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, tap back in. Inhale, kick it back. Exhale, tap it in, hold it, squeeze the belly. Hold it, shallow breathing. And take it down. Let's do the other side. Left leg back. Inhale. Knee to nose. Exhale. Navel in. Kick it back. Inhale. Look forward. Knee to nose. Exhale. Squeeze your belly. Kick it back. Look front. Inhale. Tap it in. Exhale and hold it, hold it, hold it. Shallow breathing. Hold it. Use the core. And take it down. Let's separate the knees a little bit. Big toes touch. Push back into your heels. Extend the arms forward. Open all ten fingers. Lower your forehead to the earth. Connect to the inhale and the exhale. Bring your arms all the way back, interlace them behind your back. If you cannot reach to your hands, grab a strap and stretch those arms all the way up into the sky. Squeeze the shoulders, lift them away from the ears, prevent collapsing your shoulders down. It will look something like this. See how that looks very uncomfortable. You want to pull up and open. Take the arms to the left. Open your chest to the right and look to the right. Let's do the other side. The arms go to the right and the head goes to the left. And we come back to the center. Stretch the arms down. Take them forward. Open all 10 fingers. Pull your navel in. Stabilize. And inhale, come up into your tail. Get the knees together towards each other. Tap the toes under, lift your knees up, press the heels back into your plank pose. Keep your thighs strong and active, your heels pressing back, your shins lifting up and begin to round your upper back like when you do your cat stretch. So we're tucking the ribs in and we're hunching here, we look in between our hands Building power, building strength in our cores, arms, shoulders. Stay with the breath. Let's do one more. 
take those knees down, push it back. Bend the elbows to the ground, turn your palms up, make a fist, squeeze, spread all those fingers wide. Thumb inside of the hands and make a fist, squeeze it. Spread all those fingers wide. Plant your hands, squeeze your belly, inhale, take your table. Adjust your knees. Let's take the right leg back. Flex the foot, press it back, bring your belly in, bring your ribs in, lift away from the ground and then extend your left arm forward right by your ear. Look to the mat. Some people like looking forward, I find that that is really stressful on the back of the neck, so I'd rather look down and give the spine a full extension. Stay connected to breath, keep on pulling your navel in, while you breathe. Bend the leg behind you, reach back, catch the foot, point the toes and slowly kick up and switch your gaze now past the mat in front of you. Keep your eyes steady in one point, the breath flows. Prevent clenching, maybe a smile, that always helps. Extend yourself back out, re-tag that navel, look at your mat. Let's take it down. Switch sides, the left leg goes back, flexing the foot, pulling the navel and the ribs in, the right arm comes forward. And right now I feel a little bit on my wrist, so I'm going to move my fingers around while I'm floating up here on my balance table. Maybe I circle a little bit the hand. You can do the same if your hand is feeling so that it's uncomfortable when you're balancing on one hand. Extend out, pulling super tight. And again, you can really check on yourself by releasing the belly and the ribs. See how everything sags down? And we don't want that. Stay nice and firm and strong. Bend the leg, look forward, reach back and maybe touch or catch that foot or ankle. And take the leg up. Stay connected to breath, in and out. Feel the heat building up in the body. Extend the body back out, retract the navel and ribs. And take it down. Let's push it back with knees apart. Feel free to make a pillow with your forearms and rest your head down on that pillow. You can also rest your head on the floor and bring the palms together in front of your head. Soften in here, soften your lips. Soften the body, breathe into your back body. Enjoy a few breaths, just relaxing and being. Look forward, extend those arms, open all 10 fingers, pull your navel back in to stabilize you. Table, inhale. Tap toes. Floating table, let's bring those knees up. So, navel comes in, ribs come in, heels go back, gaze in between your hands, strong arms. If you happen to have a problems with your wrist, you can work from your fist right here. Your thumbs point out to the front. It gets the bend out of the wrist. And if you're okay with your palms down, you keep your palms down. And from your floating table, let's start lifting the hips up towards the sky. We keep the knees bent, maybe like 45 degrees, and we drive the heart into those thighs. Looking in between the two feet, listening to your body breathe. 
Keep on lifting the sit bones up a little higher. Feel that you're pressing the front of the palms of the hands down into the ground. Press the right heel down, activate that whole right leg. Lift the right heel back up. Press the left heel down, activate that whole left leg. Bring that heel back up, press both heels down. Activate your thighs, press your shins back. Spread all 10 toes and fingers, drive your body back. Lift the sit bones up, draw the navel in, soften the face. Lift the heels up high, shake the head into a gentle no. Lower the heels, nodding the head yes. Back into your floating table, grabbing the mat with your fingertips. Lower those knees, point your toes, push yourself back into child's pose. Lower the head, turn your palms up, move your hands, move your fingers. Maybe circle your hands if your wrists need a little bit of love. And extend those arms back to the front. With your next inhale, come back to table, navel pulls in. Bring the knees together and take your right leg back. Bring the right foot forward in between your two hands. So here at this point, some of you might need to put blocks underneath your hands to help you a bit. Or you can keep your fingertips on the floor. Notice that your knees above your ankle, gaze forward. Soften by it. So you can keep the knee on the floor if you're just starting to build your strength. Or you can tap the back toes and pick the back knee off the ground, pressing the heel back, pressing the thigh up. Breathe here. Feel that your ribs start to come up and away from the thigh. That's going to put a lot of work in your core muscles right here. Your arms can move back. Breathe. Look at your balance, your stabilizers, your leg muscles. Take the arms forward, look forward. Bring your arms slowly up. Keep your gaze steady, navel in. Breathe. Smile. Open your arms, hover the heart over the thigh. Take your left hand down if you're using a block on the block, otherwise on the floor. And twist and turn to the right, facing up towards your thumb. If you have any neck issues, I'd rather you look down. If you're okay looking up, go for it. If you have any shoulder injuries, your hand can go on the hip and you're still building a lot of strength. Keep the straight leg active. Take your top arm forward, unite your index and your thumb into your Dhyana Mudra. Lower the hand. Fingertips. Plant those hands. Step the front foot back into your plank pose. Do a little bicycle with your legs in here. Hold your plank. Move your hips to the right. Move your hips to the left. Move your hips to the right. Drop the heels and take your left arm up. You can look down or you can look up. Unite index and thumb, building strength on the upper body. Prevent the hips from falling down. Keep those hips lifted. Look down, lower your hand, square your hips once more. Move your 
your hips to the left, move your hips to the right, move your hips to the left, move your hips to the center. Come down to your knees and push yourself back. Lower your elbows, lower your head, turn your palms up and again get into your hands. Squeeze those hands. You can take the other hand and massage the opposite hand. Squeeze your wrist. Give some, give some love to your hands because after your hands hold you there for a little while, they might need that you attend to them a bit. It is going to the other side. Stretch your arms back to the front. Pull your navel in and inhale, come up into your table pose. Navel is folding, knees are close to each other. Let's take the left leg back and bring the foot in between your two hands. And make sure that if the foot stays back here, you grab it with your hand and you bring the foot forward. So again, what I want you to do is I want you to check that your knee is above your ankle and it's not past the toes. So I don't want you injuring your knee. So here, breathe, look forward, navel in, maybe hands on blocks. Continue flowing the breath. Just go into a little bit more power, tap back toes and lift the back knee off the ground. We empower the back leg, firming the thigh, and pressing the heel back, pulling the navel in, doing your little adjustments in here so you are solid on the mat. Start to work here, hovering the ribs over the thigh, and when you feel that you are already lifted and away from the thigh, the arms move back, the heart shines forward. The right foot presses back, the thigh strong. Steady gaze in front of the mat. Sweep the arms forward and bring your arms up, lifting your torso. Pull your navel in, growing a bit taller, keeping back leg strong. Heel presses back, front foot pressing down, abdomen pulled in, shoulders wide. Prevent the clenching. Open those arms like airplane wings and hover over your thigh. And turn your plane to the left, taking your right hand down to a block or the ground and your left arm up. You can choose a mudra or not. Gazing up, breathing in and out, keeping back leg strong, navel in. Building our strength and building our endurance. Look down, lower the hand, plant those hands, pull navel in, step it back into your plank. And again, let's bicycle the knees a little bit. Breath is flowing, make the legs straight, navel is in, hips go side to side. Now let's travel to the left, dropping the heels. The right arm comes up towards the sky. Then we look up, pulling navel in, opening the heart, and prevent from dropping those hips. Keep those hips lifted so you are working your obliques and your stabilizers. Look down, lower your hand, square those hips, bend the knees, hover, loading table, a lot of core strength, core strength in here, a lot of arm strength in here, and release it, Whew, take it back, lower your head, then the elbows to relax your shoulders and your arms. And again, if your hands need a little bit of love, please acknowledge that I am and I 
really enjoyed massaging my wrist and my hands after they support the weight of my body. This is a great stretch right here, pulling your fingers back. Make sure you do the same with your thumb. Good. Okay, let's come back to the front of the mat. Pull the navel in, inhale into table. Tap those toes, lift your knees and walk your hands towards your feet. Release your head down. So notice how my body, my torso is touching my thighs. So for students that have tight hamstrings, it's very important that we keep the knees bent when we relax the head, but your seat bones at the same time are lifting up and once you find that tension point, you know to hold it there. Now if your legs are tight and you continue to lift up and you're not honoring that tension point, what happens is your legs end up straight and you end up somewhere here. And this is not very good for your back, it's not very smart. So I rather the knees are bent, your torso over the thighs and then you're lifting from your seat bones up creating that, that tension again. So we can hold the elbows framing the head in here and do a little bit of swaying from side to side. Find your center, open all ten toes, shift some of the weight to the front of your feet. Enjoy some long deep breath this is a this is an inversion it is actually decompressing your spine your head alone is around good 20 pounds so it's important that you're not looking forward like this that's crunching your neck and it's not allowing you to release so the more you release the weight of your head the more traction you get on your cervical spine on your thoracic spine and on your lumbar spine. At the same time, you're opening the entire back body. So let go of your elbows. Go to your fingertips, bend the knees a little more, give yourself a nice flat back and then open your feet the width of the mat. So we have a lot of blood on the head at this point. Bring your elbows to your thighs, your fingertips together like that a teepee in your navel and ribs come right in and you can really notice what that does to the torso and to the spine. Breathe. Bring your arms back and extend your heart forward. It looks like your skin. Breathe here. And with your next inhale, sweep the arms forward. Come up with wide knees, extend yourself up to the sky, open your arms, take your hands into your lower back with your thumbs on the small of your back. Retap the navel strong, tap the tail, firm your glutes, firm your thighs. With the inhale, lift your heart and lift your chin up. Exhale, take it back without the mouth, ocean sound. Press those hips forward, squeeze your glutes, come up, inhale, keep the tail in, I see sometimes students doing this, you don't want to do that, and with the next exhale, go back again, out the mouth, one more time, inhale to the center, stay strong on the hip region, and exhale, take it back, ocean breath. Come to center, soften your knees, just a little bouncing just to loosen everything up now that we're standing. Also getting a little bit into the lymphatic system. Shaking your hands like you're shaking water off your hands. Make sure your knees are bent and your heels stay down the whole time. Let the body stop. A little bit of Tai Chi twist. Your knees are bent the whole time. Your arms are nice and loose. They're like cooked noodles. 
your hands end on their back body and they're tapping right into your kidneys. Listen to yourself breathe. Let the body stop, find your center, and make the body straight. So come to the front of the mat, actually come to the middle of the mat, and uh, let's work a bit the muscles of our legs. So it is important that we keep these muscles strong so we prevent uh, hurting our hips and to keep our bones nice and strong as well. So the feet are wider than the hips. The toes are slightly out. You bring your palms together. You might have to adjust your feet once we start moving. With the inhale, sweep your arms up. Palms together by heart, exhale, bend the knees. Press the palms together, then sweep out, inhale, come up. So one of the typical mistakes that I see is, come back down, exhale, is the knees doing this deal here. So if you look down and your knees are coming in like this, please separate your knees, because in a few months, your knees are not gonna be able to do any of this. Inhale, swoop up, and we want to build strength and not weakness. So knees wide to build the strength and be safe and sweep up, inhale. Let's go for it. Exhale, press those palms together. Inhale, swim up. Exhale, come back down. Inhale, swim up. So if you have delicate knees, you can just hold it here. You don't have to go all the way down. And again, up inhale, down exhale. Now let's reverse the arms. Keep the palms together and let's go straight up. Inhale, open up, exhale, come back down. Gather all the earth energy, come back up. Press those hands and lift. Exhale, open up, come back down. The palms touch and maybe you push the knees out with the elbows, come back up. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, press the knees, inhale, exhale, inhale, the last one, exhale, inhale, bend to the heart, Let's go a little wider with the feet. The toes are pointing out, and we go with the same situation with our knees. We bend the knees out. Again, this is a habit. I see it all the time with the students. Knees out. Feel free to use your hands to place yourself in front of a mirror so you can see that you're really pressing out. You're using your, you have your adductors in your abductors. So you want to use your abductors. And your abductors are actually being stretched. Palms together. Press. Isometrics. Steady gaze. Breathe. Maybe a little lower. Maybe. So you're testing here your territory. I like Moving a little bit my hips to see how I'm doing, how they're doing. And maybe I can just lean deeper. Check again. How are you doing so far? Back down a bit more. Put more pressure on those hands. Right heel up. Stay down. Left heel up, take it down, right heel, take it down, left heel, take it down, right, left, right, left, both up, down, up, down, one more, up, 
and down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And take it up. Ooh, bring those legs in. Heel, toe, we'll take a hop and shake. How's it going so far? Are you having a good time? Okay, let's go right to the front of the mat. Big toes touch each other. Your heels slightly apart. Palms together by heart center. And every navel is pulled in. Always stabilizing, pulling that navel in and protecting our lower back. Bend your knees, inhale, swing them up to the sky. Forward fold the body, exhale, it's okay to bend the knees so we don't hunch, tuck your head in. Look forward, inhale, fold the body in, exhale. Giant step back with your right leg, inhale, hold it here, knee hovers over the mat, exhale. Press back, inhale. Knee hovers, 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 exhale. Make the legs straight. Clamp the hands and step it back into your plank pose. From the belly, take a breath. Lower the body. It's okay to lower the knees first to help you out. Then touch the body with your entire torso. Touch the mat with your entire body. And put your forehead down. Firm up those legs. Inhale. Pick up your upper body into your cobra position. And push yourself back into your child. And come up into your table, tuck those toes, downward facing dog. Lengthen the spine, lift your tail up, open all your fingers, squeeze the legs and belly, relax your head and face. Lift the heels, bend the knees, walk it to the front of the mat. Flat back, inhale, your hands can go on your shins. Fold in, exhale. Left leg goes back, giant step, look forward, knee over ankle. Fingertips on the mat, the left knee hovers over the mat, bending that knee. Inhale, make it straight, heel back, exhale. Knee bends, inhale, press back, exhale. Knee bends, inhale, press back, exhale. Knee bends, inhale, press back, exhale. Let's do one more. Knee bends, inhale, and press it back, exhale. Press, press, press. Use the strength of the thunder. Put your palms down, step it back into your plank. Your navel is in, your ribs are in. Body strong in here. Lower down. Remember, you can put your knees down first. Take it down. Touch the body to the mat. Point your toes. Place your forehead down. Take an inhale. Pick up your upper body into your cobra. Ujjangasana. Strong legs. Come back and down into your child's pose. Rest it here, relax your hands, maybe fist, spreading fingers, circling hands. Massaging your hands. Yes, I do enjoy doing this after, again, I'm on my hands. Good, let's come up to all fours and cross your legs. Sit back and extend your legs in front of you. So let's fix ourselves in here. And pull the flesh out. 
Bring your palms together by your heart. Center, inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, open your arms to the side and place your hands a little forward. Open all fingers, getting your thumb maybe underneath your leg. And leaning your torso forward a bit. Pulling the navel into the spine. Take a deep inhale. With the exhale, pull your navel in, squeeze your perineum like a kegel and see if you can push the ground and just pick the buttocks up. Maybe not, maybe you're not able to lift it, maybe you can just hover it in there. You see what you can do here? And take it down. So let's stretch the muscle here. Take the hands back, move your buttocks forward a bit. Point your toes, incline plank. Inhale, pick up those hips. And bring yourself down. Let's take the body to our back. Take the arms in front of you. Draw the navel in and round your back like the letter C. Continue rolling slowly and breathing. Once your lower back touches the ground, see if you can keep your shoulder blades off the ground here, your arms extended to the front. Bring the right knee into your chest and bring your nose into the knee. Hover the left leg off the ground, targeting our core muscle our fire, the third chakra, Manipura. Maybe you can grab your foot. If you cannot grab the foot, that is okay. Extend the leg up a bit. You can always grab the back of your knee and you see how straight you can make that right leg. You reach with your heart and with your face towards the leg and squeeze the thigh. Really work your thigh muscle here and your abdominal muscle. Then bend the knee, pull the foot in and now press the foot forward. That feels really good in between my shoulder blades and the lower section of my thoracic spine. So put the foot down, lower your upper body Slide the leg down, take your arms over the head, inhale and bring your left leg in, exhale, lift up your head and pull yourself into the knee. Float the right leg off the ground, you can spread all your toes. If you have neck problems, you can always support your head. Let's see if we can catch the foot and start to extend the leg up maybe 45 degrees, maybe more. And if you can make it fully straight, go for it. Pull that navel in strongly and lift yourself a little higher. Squeeze the thighs. Flow the breath. Let's do one more breath. Bend the knee. Pull it in towards you, press the foot forward and away from you, hello bamboo, this is my bamboo too, hi honey, and slowly release, take it down, <sighs> bend your legs, fix yourself, open your arms, Take your right leg and cross it over your left leg, women's style. Take your hips and scoot them over to the right a little bit. And with the exhale, drive your legs to the left. And turn your head to the right, or you can also turn the head to the left. And let's breathe here. Soften the bite, relax your shoulders. This is excellent to release all the muscles that we were working while we were working our core. 
it's getting into your stabilizers, into your abdominals, it's getting into your lower back and into your hips, it's getting into your spine, it taps into your sciatic. Enjoy the breath in the end here. Deep inhales and long exhales. And firm up your belly and use the inhale to come back to your center. And cross those legs. Organize yourself on the switch sides. Take your left leg and wrap it over your right leg. Move your hips to the left side. And with your exhale, take your legs to the right. And turn the head to the left side. Feel free to close your eyes in here. And connect with your full yogic breath from your belly to your ribs, to your chest, to the shoulders. With long exhales. Feeling that deep tourniquet in your organs, your intestines, your spine, your ribcage, across your chest, your back. Confirm your belly and use the inhale to come back to your center. Uncross it. Fix the body one more time. Get those knees into your chest and give them a nice big hug. Squeeze them into you. Lower your head. Lower your chin. Soften the bite. Enjoy just holding the legs tight and breathing slowly and Really rocking from side to side. Then find your center, put your feet on the earth. Release your legs down. Let your feet go wide. Let your arms come out with your palms facing up. Fix yourself, feel free to put a bolster or a pillow underneath your knees or underneath your head so you're very comfortable for your relaxation shavasana and just close your eyes relax the weight of your body create your space soften your lips and soften your bite relax the skin of your face the weight of your head the neck and the throat Pay close attention to the breath. Feel it. Hear it. Notice it. Relax the weight of your shoulders, the weight of your arms, the weight of your bones. Relax the buttocks and the groins. Free to stay here as long as you want to. Well, Yogi, we are done with our yoga for strengthening our bodies today. Please leave your comments down below. Let me know how you feel. Let me know if you want more videos like this one. Follow me on my Facebook and Instagram page. I feel amazing. I hope that you feel the same. I'm very energized. Remember to hydrate, plenty of water, and maybe before you go to bed, some Epsom salt bath so your body is not sore tomorrow. I look forward to practicing with you all soon. And I want you to shine your light for me. Thank you.